Hi, my name is Fatima Zul with a message of hope to help you get over the walls of life. Today, I am declaring that we can all get over these walls. And what we need to get over these walls is hope. That's why my motto is, there is hope for anyone at any time and at any age. Every week, I'll be presenting a new word with the intention of creating a world filled with possibilities. I will use these words as acronyms to give a new perspective on life so that we can see what can be accomplished when we look at a familiar thing from a different perspective. Every month, there will be a theme of words that ties into creating a world filled with hope. This month's theme is overcoming anxiety and shame. I will be breaking down the word shame, hope, doubt, and clarity. Today's conversation is about giving up doubt and taking on faith. So when we look at the word doubt, we really want to conquer that inside of the season of change. We want to count, conquer our doubts. And doubts is a feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction because that's the thing that leads and breeds into fear when there are, are doubts and it's predominantly what's going on in our brain. And so when I look at the word doubt and I chose the word for the D, which was double-minded, wavering in mind, undecided, and you're in and out, in and out, in and out. You want to go this way, then you want to go back, you want to go forward, you want to live in the past, you want to go in the future. You don't want anything to affect you. You want to get married, you don't want to get married, you want this job, you want this career. You are always in a space of being double-minded and double-mindedness. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways and you're being ruled by fear. So now inside of this changing season, we really want to conquer that. We really want to lessen those doubts that are going on in our brain. And sometimes I realize that for me, it can really go wild. And one of the things that I do first thing in the morning is I meditate. I take time to listen to sounds of water, of wind, of birds chirping, or I go for a walk, I go near the Etobicoke Creek, and that helps to settle my mind and gives me clarity of what it is that I'm hoping for, what it is that I'm, what it is that I'm undecided about. So I get to overcome those doubts and those fears and that double-mindedness. And then the O, inside of that doubt, there's that O, there's that oppression, and it can take on many forms from you know hurtful remarks, people that we take in, people that say things about us and they say things about us to oppress us and they say things about us that aren't true to really instill that fear and doubt. It's called manipulation. And sometimes it's done out of ignorance and those insults and threats and those physical harm. It's that way of just keeping people down and oppressed so that the doubts can be even more on loudspeaker. And then we're operating out of a space fear. That's what doubt does. It gives you, oppresses you. And then it makes you feel you unsatisfied, feeling that something is not good enough or you are not good enough. And we want to rise about that with hope. We want to rise about that with love. We want to take away that feeling, that unsatisfied feeling, replace it with self-love, self-conviction. That's why it's so needed. It's so good that we have this YouTube channel for messages of hope. And there's so many people contributing to it. So I want you to remember to press the like button, subscribe, and also make a comment and share the link with other people. Because if you know somebody's unsatisfied and feeling into that feeling of fear and doubt, then they need a message of hope. They need this breakdown of this word right now. Because sometimes people are living in a space where they are inside of being belligerent and, you know, quarrelsome. And they're having an, a 
fighting attitude and they're very aggressive and we don't know why they're belligerent. We don't know what they're, what's going on. But my husband said to me the other day, you know, at the root of it all is we're all afraid of something. We're all afraid of something and it manifests itself in different ways. It could manifest itself in belligerence. So we really want to look out for that. Is your fear and your doubt breathing a belligerent, fearful, fighting attitude? One, look out for that. And then sometimes it comes to a point where people are believing what people are saying and it tarnishes. And that's what the T is, tarnish, meaning that you can cause people to have a worse opinion about themselves. They can tarnish it. There's no self-love. If, if somebody's telling me every day, okay, I don't like the color of your hair, your lips are too big, you've got ugly glasses, I don't like this about you, I don't like that about it begins to tarnish your self-image and your self-worth, and that breeds into more doubt, that breeds into more fear. But this is channels the message of hope. We want to say, stop, wait a minute. Who I am is not a doubtful person. Who I am is not belligerent. Who I am is not unsatisfied. Who I am is not oppressed. Who I am is not double-minded. See, I did that backwards. So we want to take away that fear of that fear. We want to take away that feeling of uncertainty and a lack of conviction. And we want to replace it with hope. We want to replace it with somebody who has confidence, somebody who can stand out loud and proud and get over that wall of fear and doubt. So remember, when that doubt creeps in, when you're feeling double-minded, when you're feeling oppressed, when you're feeling unsatisfied, when you're feeling like, oh my God, there's an anxiousness that I can't get over. There's a feeling of belligerence. How am I, what am I doing here? You know, and then you're, you're, you're feeling like all of you is tarnished from head to toe. Get a dose of hope. Speak to somebody, share, pick up the phone and say to somebody, you know, somebody who is very optimistic, somebody who can pour into you and say, you know what, this is what I'm feeling. I want to talk out this. I want to talk out this doubt. I want to talk out this fear and then have that person feed you faith, feed you hope. And you'll see you'll be in a way better position inside of the changes of the seasons of life that we really got to know that what season are you in life because it, the season comes for a moment and a time and then we are crying out we really want something to change it around so change your doubt to optimism change your doubt to hopefulness and i just want to thank everyone for coming on and joining me again this week inside of this word doubt it was a great word and all the world's words are timely. So I just want you to remember to have a super fantastic day now. Until next.